Hey there, Leo. It's time to have a look and see what is going on with your transition from 2020 to 2021. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you're watching your rising sign horoscope, remember your rising sign gives you additional context as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope presents. And your moon sign horoscope, well, that's going to be showing you the other story that is playing out throughout the week. And if you ever want to get a session with me, all you need to do is go on ahead to my website. It's called integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow them links below. So what's going on when it comes to this week? Well, your main theme of the week is the Queen of Pentacles upright. And a lot of you are going to be having a beautiful week when it comes to seeing an ideal, especially when it comes to something that you have been crafting and working on with your own hands, something homegrown starting to blossom, starting to actually bear fruit and make a big payoff. In fact, I'm seeing a lot of Leo people getting a chance to make a departure from a lot of work a day and maybe fair weather types of commitments, jobs, um, maybe even projects, or maybe yeah, fair weather friendships or acquaintanceships to go into a, a space where you're feeling much more at home, not only with your craft, but also with your community. Because the Queen of Pentacles is all about coming up in the world and actually seeing the things that you have created, right? Things that you have crafted with your own two hands start to actually not only gain in value and gain in uh, respect or, or gravity, but also start to attract and bring in more and more opportunities to get close with real community real close tight friendships ones that you have that already resonate with those paths and new folks that also come to cement uplift and of course evolve all of that at the same time in fact with the queen of pentacles a lot of you are going to be finding that things that you thought were kind of small or maybe uh, just personal indulgences that you've kept out of the public eye might actually be ready for their big debut. As we get on to your personal responsibility card, what you need to take ownership of if you're going to have the best week possible, well, you've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And so you have to make sure that this week you are not allowing yourself to become a bit of a workaholic robot. <laughs> because with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, we tend to find ourselves incredibly busy. And yes, uh, for, you know, in a very basic way, you know, quite prosperous. But with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, where's the time to actually enjoy it or do the things we actually love? The Knight of Pentacles reversed is saying take ownership of where we might actually be working harder, not smarter, and uh, maybe actually limiting our availability to step into that rich and lush Queen of Pentacles type of experience. Because with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, you may be finding that it's time to limit your availability or redraw some boundaries, especially when it comes to things that know how to buy you, know how to purchase you, know how to command your availability or compete for your availability in a way that actually keeps you going in circles or going round and round. In fact, with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, a lot of you Leo people may be finding that through it all, it's all about actually finding the heart in the work and the toil that you provide to the world. And if you are in a situation where you are finding that maybe you're getting celebrated or you're getting a lot of incentive for doing things that bring you no fulfillment, you're going to have to take a good hard look at yourself and a good hard look at your life. It can sometimes feel almost like an artist who keeps having to paint the same picture or sing the same song over and over and over again because it's in a top 40 being a, instead of being able to actually grow and evolve themselves. Sometimes that pressure and that incentive can be a lot. And so you're going to have to find a way to get that under your control because it's your work, it's your energy, and it's your prosperity. 
When it comes to your material shifts, when it comes to your work, when it comes to your finances, your personal abundance, or maybe even a household matter, you've got the tower in reverse. And a lot of you are going to be finding out about something that is befalling either um, a peer, a coworker, maybe even somebody um, that you might consider to be a rival, uh, or this could conversely be something going on with a friend or again in a family situation that is actually changing uh, or altering the course for your own personal growth when it comes to your money and your finances. In a weird way, I'm seeing with the Tower card reversed, regardless of what is happening to the other in this situation, you are actually seeing this as something or you will have an opportunity to turn this towards the positive for yourself and all concerned. Remember, with the Tower card reversed, we are witnessing something collapsing or something falling apart. We are not necessarily uh, there for it. We are not actually in that situation as it comes down. But whatever this transition is, is it, it does actually either create some kind of liquid resource or maybe an opening for you to step into. And it does change your, your professional and creative future uh, with, you know, and if you will let it, it may actually be something that completely changes how you go about climbing your own mountain uh, when it comes to your own accomplishments. As we get on to your interpersonal relationships, your closest uh, cast of characters, right, your closest party members, platonic and romantic, we've got the Ace of Pentacles upright. And it does look like a new arrangement is being made. This could be something on the platonic that is uh, either a business or financial relationship with a friend or a relative that already shows signs of paying off big in the medium term and something that is actually very, very stable, very safe, but also resonates with everyone perfectly. Now, this could be something that um, has been maybe kicked around a few times in the past, but it's finally mature enough to happen. Or this is something that occurs because of that opening or because of a breakthrough or a windfall on either side. For those of you curious about the romantic side of things, new love opportunities are here, but it does look like this is going to be something that, again, we might have to wait till the medium term to see um, the, the, the big sparks and the big energy start to uh, turn on here. The Ace of Pentacles, we definitely see an opportunity to bond over a mutual passion, mutual craft, mutual pursuit but it might start at a slow and steady wins the race kind of pace. For those of you in relationships presently, the Ace of Pentacles is indicating a new material beginning happening for our relationship, whether this is due to, again, additional funds or additional resources coming or a new living situation uh, or new work situation being proposed that does change the narrative and the direction of our relationship as we become um, better equipped and more material uh, and, and with more material comforts. And I'll just leave it at that. As we get onto your personal shifts, what's going on with you? You've got the Empress upright. There is this sense of a homecoming or feeling at home or finally being at home in the world you are actually working in and socializing in. And with the Empress card upright, it's time to pay attention to the, the community, the family, the work, and all of the opportunities that have come to us that are now showing us where we actually will be thriving and enjoying the most long-term fecundity and abundance for, you know, what seems to be, you know, almost an eternity if we allow ourselves to make that leap. The Empress for you is all about jumping into a space where you've finally found that sense of not only home and kingdom, but also being able to start nurturing others, right? Coming into a space where you have things to not only give yourself or grow yourself, but things that actually do also lift up 
all the denizens of your cast of characters, right? Leveling up your companions and your party members and your partners or your new partners. This is going to be a week where you start to see where you can actually be that abundant nurturer yourself. So that is what I've got for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.